Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Amazing Titles plugin. So you can see this in action in front of us. There is a cool title that says Welcome to our server and it's changing colour. And then if I go ahead and do this command you can see there is another one which has a cool wave effect going through. And then I'll do a couple more such as this boss bar which is a rainbow that is counting down. And then let's have a look to see if we have one more that I did previously. And let's go with the title one. This one's going to be huge on the screen and you can see it has a nice wave effect changing colour and looking awesome. So this is a great way to communicate with your server with various messages and it is a really easy to use and customizable plugin. So if we jump into the wiki, we can have a look at how we create one of these. So up at the top, we've got the different display types. You can see a few of the examples that I actually used previously. And then it shows you the different animations. So there's quite a few of those. And then some example parameters, such as the amount of time it takes, the speed, the color, etc. So let's go ahead and do an example, such as forward slash AT, we're gonna have a title and who do we want to send it to, so myself. And then next we need to pick the animation. So let's have a look and go with from left, for example, then the delay before it starts and then the duration of the entire thing, so 10 seconds. And then we can write whatever message we want. Now, initially I used the color code, but I'm gonna remove that because there is a special way of doing colors. So this is gonna be plain white. Here it is, it comes in from the left and it should stay for 10 seconds and then disappear. So that is an example of how you would do one for yourself. If we jump back into the wiki, we can see that certain ones have hex codes and that is how you determine the color of them. So what we can do is edit one of these and show you how to change the colors. And let's go ahead and get started with this example. So if we do full slash AT, choose one of these, boss bar for example, it's gonna to go to everyone. And then we are going to select the pulsing one, the delay. And once we've done that, we can stick in some color codes. So down here on the wiki, there is a couple of examples. Now, these ones are black and white, I believe. However, if we jump into Google and go to a hex color picker, we can find some colors that we want. So just copy and paste this. It's gonna be a random string of numbers and letters. And then all you need to do is simply replace it after the pound sign. So I'm gonna paste that in. And now it should pulse from yellow to black. So that is an example of how you can customize it to make it look very fancy and colorful. So here we are on the s and control panel. And as you can see, there is a single .yml file. And there's really not too much in here. So once you dispatch a title, for example, you will get one of these messages, which will tell you all the information about it. Do you want that enabled, yes or no? And then if we scroll down, we've got various information, like do we want the static bar turned on or off? And then if we have a look at the bottom, we've got some various other things, such as the animation, the speed of it, the text. So welcome to our server. You saw that playing the entire time, so you could turn that off if you wanted, or in fact, change the colors or the animation. And then the extensions, here are all the animations that we saw, so you can disable ones that you don't like. As I mentioned, this is the wiki. There's a lot of good stuff here, and there is also permissions to ensure your admins can do these commands. This is the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.20, and there's some cool pictures on here and the link to the wiki. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.